The premise of the lesson is to support Module D, Opinion Writing. Elaboration is the second column on the um, rubric that we score our writing on, and usually elaboration in first grade is difficult for students. So this is a lesson that we repeat um, over and over again. So in opinion writing, it, it can get tricky to elaborate a reason. So that's what the, the premise of the lesson was, to show them again and remind them again that elaborating using sensory details is something that they know how to do and should, should give a try. Boys and girls, my name's Mrs. Deer King, and we're going to be doing some work together today. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited. I brought a whole lot of people with me. Did you notice that? These are all teachers. Wave to them. Wave to the teachers. They won't bite you. Okay. All right. Now turn back here to me. What's going to go on today as me and all these teachers? We're here to learn from every one of you so thank you thank you in advance because you're going to help us learn today some things about writing so we're going to be doing some writing together today <laughs> now we're going to be doing some work with something called a brochure have you ever heard of that word before no. okay well i wondered about that so let me show you a brochure is a kind of writing where somebody tries to convince you to come somewhere. Like this brochure is for the Tampa Bay History Center, right? So I might go, what do I want to go to History Center for? But if I open it up, the brochure tells me all the reasons why I should come to the History Center. And they're all in bullets that look just like this. Here's the second thing that's going to happen today, is there's going to be a time when I'm going to ask you to talk to a partner. Now, you just came in from PE, and you might not be sitting by a partner, so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to assign partners right now, all right? One partner is going to be yum yum, and the other partner is going to be delicious, all right? So we're going to have yum yum, delicious. Say that with me. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. delicious. Ooh, I like the way you said that. Okay, so let's get some partners here. Okay, you two, can you turn knee to knee? You're going to be partners right on your brochure. Perfect. Can you two turn? All right, so yum, yum, and delicious. Decide who's going to be yum, yum, and who's going to be delicious. Okay, who's yum, yum? Raise your hand. <coughs> Oh, nice. Okay, yum yums, put your hands down. Who's going to be delicious? All right, put your hands down. Okay, yum yum, say yum yum. Yum yum. yum. Delicious, say delicious. 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 Oh, let's do it again. Yum yum. Yum yum. Delicious. delicious. Okay, perfect. Okay, turn back to me. So when we're ready for turn and talk, I'm going to say yum yum. Delicious. delicious. Okay, today we're going to be working on opinion <coughs> writing. Nod your head if you've heard of opinion writing, like where you give your opinion about something. Okay, good. All right, so this is our scale that helps us know where we're working and what we want to do when we get all done with this module, with all of this work. This is what we want you, your teachers and I, want you to be able to do, to write an opinion piece where you introduce the topic, where you give your opinion, where you give a reason, and then you wrap it up. You give a sense of closure. So that's like our big, big goal, right? Okay, so today we're still working towards this goal. So today I just want to tell you we're going to be working right here where it says two. Okay, can you show me two with your fingers? All right, so by the end of today, we're all going to at least be a two, because this is what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you how opinion writers elaborate a reason by using their senses. And there it is, right there. There is our dot right there that says that. So when we're all done today, I'm going to ask you, can you elaborate a reason using your senses? So that's the work that we're going to be doing together today.
I said I was so happy to see you guys today because I brought all my friends with me today. But here's another reason why I'm so happy to see you because I need help. At my house on Thursdays, we always go out to dinner. This is our go out to dinner tonight. So we take turns. Sometimes I get to pick, sometimes my daughter gets to pick, and sometimes my husband gets to pick. So we, ha we, we take turns. So tonight, we've narrowed it down to two places, right? We're either going to go to McDonald's or we're going to go to Papa John's, right? I want to go to McDonald's, but the rest of my family wants to go to Papa John's. So I am afraid I'm going to have to convince my family to go to McDonald's because they don't want to go there. They want to go to Papa John's. So I was thinking, because I've been looking at brochures, I would make a little brochure and give my reasons why we should go to McDonald's. So here's what I said. One kind of opinion writing is a brochure, and lots of times brochures are set up as a bulleted list, and usually they contain verbs that try to convince us to come to a place. So this lesson mimicked using a brochure and using the bullets as a reason, and then showing kids how then you could say more about that reason elaborating using sensory details. We should go to McDonald's because, my first reason was, because we can eat french fries. Oh, we that. should go to McDonald's because we could have a hamburger. We should go to McDonald's because we could drink a shake. We should go to McDonald's because we could play on the slide. We should go to McDonald's because we can eat ice cream there. So those were my reasons, so I said that to my family. Mark and Andy, I think we should go to McDonald's. I think we should go because we could eat french fries. We could have a hamburger, we could drink a shake, we could play on the slide, we could eat ice cream. Mm. And my daughter, she goes, oh, well I see you've written out all your reasons. I'm going to write out my reasons too. So here were her reasons. She thinks that we should go to Papa John's because she wants to eat a slice of pizza. What? She wants to have a salad. Her reason for wanting to go to Papa John's is she wants to drink a soda. She wants to play a video game. She wants to eat dessert. So now I have this dilemma. Here are all the reasons why I want to go to McDonald's. Here are all the reasons why Andy wants to go to Papa John's. So I'm going to have to convince them. I'm going to have to say more. And when you say more about a reason, it's called elaborate. You know that. Say it with me. Elaboration. I heard you saying that. Very good. OK, so you guys probably know this, because I can tell by looking that you're so smart, that when you will, one way to elaborate is you can use your five senses, right? Remember your five senses? This is your sense of eyes. Eyes, point to your eyes. This is seeing, right? This is your sense of sight. What's this one? Hearing. hearing. This is your sense of hearing. Hear. What's this one? Smell. Smelling. Uh -huh. What's that one? Taste. Taste. And what's this one? Feel. Feel. Very good. Those are our five senses. And you can use those to elaborate. They're called sensory details. So this is what I want to teach you today. How opinion writers, that's you, elaborate a reason by using their senses. Okay, so you know I want to go to McDonald's. And my reason is because I want to eat French fries. Here it is, right here. There's my reason. Okay, so I'm going to have to say more about this if I want to convince my family to go to McDonald's. All right, so I'm going to think about how french fries look, sound, feel, taste, and smell. All right, and I'm going to say more about that to try to convince them they should go to McDonald's because they could eat french fries. Okay, so let me think here. Hmm, how do french fries look? Hmm, they look golden brown, right? 
and some people say they look like <laughs> long sticks. What do you think about that? Long sticks. Okay. How do French fries sound? They don't sound, so I'm not going to use that one. Okay, so let me think. How do French fries feel? Soft. Oh, they feel soft. I agree. And they feel... Squishy. They feel squishy. Oh, if you get them right out of the fryer, they feel warm. How do they taste? Good. Somebody said greasy, but that's good, right? That's the good part of it. So they taste greasy. And I don't know about you, but sometimes they taste salty, right? And then how do they smell? Delicious. Oh, I was thinking that too. They smell. The first thing that we do in really any grade is we teach them the structure that we want them to write in. And during Module D, during Module C as well, the kids are writing in the structure of an opinion. So they need to name a topic, give their opinion, give a reason, and then a sense of closure. That's what our standard says. But in um, order to make your writing better or more interesting, you can elaborate and say more about, about your reasons. So um, getting the kids started basically is starting with understanding what your senses are and that we learn about our world by checking out how something looks, how it smells, how it tastes. And then as a writer, if we want our reader to picture that, we use sensory details. So lessons that have come before are obviously in science, talking about the senses, and then talking about concept words. The, you know, what, what's the size, what's the color, what's the shape, and then showing them how you can use those concepts when you're elaborating using your senses. Okay, so I'm going to pretend like I'm talking to Andy. Andy, I choose McDonald's because I want to eat French fries. French fries are golden brown and look like long sticks. They feel soft. They taste greasy and salty. They smell delicious. <laughs> now, wouldn't that make you want to go to McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I could write my reason and I could elaborate it using my sentences, and this is what it would look like. It would look just like this. I choose McDonald's. You can read it with me if you want. I want to eat French fries. They are golden brown and look like long sticks. French fries feel soft and warm. They taste salty and a little greasy. They smell delicious. Do you see how I did that? How I said more about my reason using my five senses? Okay, now it's your turn. What? Get your brochure out. Okay, put it in your lap. Now, I want you to pretend that you're my daughter, Andy. Okay, you're going to pretend like you're Andy. Now, you're going to have to convince me to go to Papa John's. All right, so you got your brochure out? Okay, we're going to read the reasons, and we're going to core, uh, we're going to echo read them. That means I'll read it, and then you read it. All right, so you got your Papa John's out? Yeah. Okay, put your finger on that first dot. Everybody put your finger on the first dot. Got it? Okay, I'll read it, and then you read it. Eat a slice of pizza. You read it. Eat a slice of pizza. Next bullet. Here's another reason. Have a salad. You read it. Have a salad. Finally, last bullet. Eat dessert. Eat dessert. Okay, those are all reasons why <coughs> you want to go to Papa John's. All right, so everybody put your finger back on the first reason. What does that say? Eat a slice of pizza. Okay, so your reason for going to Papa John's is you want to eat a piece of pizza. So I'm going to change the 
We're going to make this be yours. I choose Papa John's because I want to eat pizza. I forgot slice of pizza, but you get it, right? Okay, so now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use your senses to say more about that pizza. What does a slice of pizza look like? What does a slice of pizza sound like? What does a slice of pizza feel like? What does a slice of pizza taste like? What does it smell like? All right, partners, are you ready? Okay, turn and go knee to knee with your partner. Yum, yum, and delicious. Okay, yum, yum, you're going first. And what I want you to do is I want you to tell your partner, what does a slice of pizza look like? Okay, go. Yum, yum, tell. Who's talking? Delicious. Now I want you to tell your partner how a slice of pizza feels. Okay, go. It feels soft and warm and crunchy and soft. Okay, yum yum, we're back to you. Yum yum, tell your partner how does a slice of pizza taste? Go. Mmm, it does. How else does it taste? No, it doesn't. Delicious. You tell your partner how does a piece of pizza smell? Delicious. All right. Yum, yum, and delicious. Turn back and face me. These are some things that I heard that a slice of pizza looks like a triangle. It does, doesn't it? Doesn't really make a sound. Nobody said anything about sound. But I did hear that a slice of pizza feels warm and gooey. Who said that? Who, how many people said that? Oh, my tape isn't working. Oh, well. I heard some people say that a slice of pizza could taste like cheese, and could Bob taste like know. pepperoni. And then almost every single person said that pizza smells delicious. delicious. So, boys and girls, do you see what you just did? You took your reason. I choose Papa John's because I want to eat a slice of pizza. And you elaborated and said more. So now, listen to what you guys have. I chose Papa John's because I want to eat pizza. Pizza looks like a triangle. It feels warm and gooey. It tastes cheesy and like pepperoni. It smells delicious, right? Okay, now, yum yum, delicious. Go back to get, go back knee to knee. Okay, delicious, you're going first this time. All right, I want you to share your elaboration with your uh, yum yum partner. So this is what it would sound like. Listen carefully. I choose Papa John's because I want to eat a slice of pizza. It looks like a triangle. It feels warm and gooey. It tastes like cheese and pepperoni. It smells delicious. That's what I want you to say. Okay, you ready? Delicious, go. Say that to your partner. I want to pizza. Oh, good. Okay, switch. Yum, yum. You do the same thing. You tell your partner. Why you should go to Papa John's and eat a slice of pizza and elaborate. Go. Okay, pizza lovers, turn back to me. All right, so this is what we're going to do in a minute. I'm going to send you off to your seats, and you're going to have to make a choice. Would you like to go to dinner at Papa John's? Or would you like to go to dinner 
at McDonald's. I love McDonald's. Right? Okay, so you're going to have to choose one or the other. Then, after you choose, you're going to pick your reason. Okay, do you want to go to Papa John's because you want to eat a slice of pizza? Or do you want to go to Papa John's because you want to have a salad? Or do you want to go because you want to drink a soda? You have to choose your reason. The reasons are the bullets. Then, we're going to elaborate using our senses. One way that we can hold on to information and directions, um, especially if you're six or seven years old, is to make sure that there's steps. That first you do this, then you do this, then you do this. So you can kind of pop them off in your head as you're doing them. So giving children steps. First you're going to do this. And giving them visuals um, helps. So they can track where they are in their process and then they won't need the teacher. Um, to come help them out. So we use little um, anchor charts at their tables today to help to help remind them that their first step was to choose a reason or choose a place, next choose a reason, then use their senses and then actually write their paragraph. This is what I want you to do first. I want you to put your name right at the top really quick. Did you find a copy? Look at your brochure and put your finger. Do you want Papa John's or do you want McDonald's? So I can see your choice. Put your finger, Papa John's or McDonald's. What do you want? Okay. All right. So you are choosing McDonald's. So we're going to start writing right here at the bottom. Put your pencil right there. Put your pencil right here. Put your pencil right there. And we're going to write this together, okay? Okay, so we're going to write I, I, some of you have already started, good for you. I choose. Ch we send them to the tables to write, first of all, because it's more comfortable to actually sit at a table than sit, a, sit a, on the floor. Um, also, when I am talking with them or conferring with them, if they're at a table, they can listen in and they can hear what I'm saying to their neighbor, and a lot of times they'll pick that up. A lot of times it's easier to do a table conference because we've got four or five kids sitting there all together instead of doing one, one, one. It's easier to do at a table conference. And then we can have common materials like the paper and the pencils that are all there right in one place. I choose McDonald's and copy it right off of your brochure. So smart. All right, now, you look down that McDonald's side and put your finger on the reason why you choose McDonald's. Which one of those reasons? Now, you're gonna need to write your reason, right? So you look right at your bullet, and that's your reason. So go ahead and record your reason. You wanna have a hamburger? I don't blame you. Well, add a cheeseburger to it then if you want. Now, we're going to go up to the boxes. Okay, if you are going to eat ice cream, I want you to go up to the box where the eye is. What would ice cream look like? Right? So I want you to fill in some words to tell me what ice cream would look like. If you picked have a hamburger, what would a hamburger look like? If you picked play on the slide, what would that look like? Then I want you to move to the next box. What would it smell like? What would it taste like? And what would it feel like? Raiders, can I just give you a little tip that I see some of my friends over here doing? Like they're thinking about their reason. Like for example, the slide. They want to go on the slides. Well, what does the slide look like? So these girls over here said, well, let me think what size is it? Is it big? or is it little? Well, they decided it's big, right? Then they went, okay, let me think about the color. Is it red or is it blue? What is it, red or blue? Red, what color's your slide? Blue, right? So then you put the color. So size and color would be two great things to write about how something looks. Ice cream, somebody put white, but somebody else put brown because chocolate ice cream 
is brown, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so think about the size and think about the color when you're elaborating your reason by for how something looks. Okay, writers, now what you have done is you've elaborated using your senses. Now you're ready to use all that information to write your paragraph. Okay, so do you remember how we wrote? You guys already have this down. The pizza looks like a triangle. So you're gonna put how your reason, whatever you elaborated, how does it look? How does it feel? How does it taste? So you're gonna use all the words that you put in your boxes and now you're gonna put them in sentences. All right, you're gonna write your paragraph, okay? So it might start like, it looks, and then you use your words that you, your bulleted words at the top, all right? Okay, get going, start writing your sentences. Five minutes, here we go. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go back to back with your partner. So are you, who's your partner? Right here, so go like, see how they go back to back? Just like that, everybody do that, back to back. Back to back. Oh, perfect. Back to back. All right, pick up your paper and I want you to read it. Read your paper to yourself. Okay, go. Back to back. One of the things that we've been studying this year is engagement strategies for kids and ways to um, engage them in different ways. So. In writing today, I had the kids do stand back to back for two reasons. I wanted them to reread their writing. Lucy Calkin says writing workshop is as much about reading as it is about writing. So I wanted them to rehearse their own writing before they turn to their partner to share it. Um, and standing back to back is just a different way than me sharing the work or the kids sharing the work. So that, that was the reason that I did that. Okay, now turn and face your partner. Very good. Yum yum, read your reason with your elaboration to your partner. Go, go yum yums, go first. All right, switch. Okay, delicious. Read yours to your partner. All right, writers, turn and face me. Okay, sit down on your bottoms. Writers, you did amazing work today. Elaborating a reason by using your senses. Every single one of you thought you picked your place and you picked a reason why you wanted to go there and then you said more about your reason. And that's what good opinion writers do. They say more about their reason. You guys did a great job of elaborating your reason by using your five senses. senses. All right, good work. The target of the lesson was writers elaborate a reason by using sensory details. That was our target that supported standard writing 1.1, which is the opinion writing standard. That's what the lesson was about today. And this lesson would be taught during writing workshops.